Can you believe I made this arrowhead from glass that I melted in a microwave? First, I'm going to grab some glass chunks from a fire pit that's in my backyard. These should work perfectly for melting glass in a microwave kiln. I just place it on the bottom of the kiln, pop the top on, and then put it in the microwave for about 12 minutes. And after 12 minutes, it's done, and as you can see, it is red hot inside there. And after I let it cool down for a while, I take it out of the microwave, and here's what we have. Melted glass from my fire pit. And now there's only one thing left to do. It's time to make an arrowhead. And if you're wondering where you can purchase a microwave kiln, I'll leave a link to my Amazon store, and you can pick one up there. Okay, back to making the arrowhead. First, I chip off the edges just to try to get it into the general shape of an arrowhead. Something like this. Next, I'll abrade it just to get rid of any sharp edges. It should look like this. Next, I'll do some indirect percussion so I can thin it down and get it ready for notching. But that's cheating. Why don't you use primitive tools like the Native Americans did? Newsflash, Native Americans still exist, bro, and they use modern tools for everything. Don't worry about it. Anyway, after refining the edges with my pressure flaker, I start adding the notches to both sides. And boom, just like that, I made an arrowhead from glass that I melted in a microwave. Now how cool is that? I think this will make a pretty cool necklace for someone. What do y'all think?